Preston Physics Grade 11 Kinematics Note 2 Adding and Subtracting Vectors When we start out with vectors we're going to look at a couple properties just to help us with some problems. The first being that any vector can really be reversed. Now this means that a vector can be written or said in two different ways. For example if we have 3.5 meters west it's the same as 3.5 meters east, but we have to add a negative in. These are equal to each other. Or if we look at 4.8 meters per second going south, well that's the same as negative 4.8 meters per second going north. Next, let's look at motion in two dimensions, meaning that if we're walking, we're walking up and down or right and left. Let's look at right and then down. So if we're in a large field, so let's say we want to walk across this field. We have a starting point and a finish point. But let's say we can't walk straight through the middle. So first, we're going to walk 20 meters east and then 10 meters south. Now this is going to get us across the field. Couldn't go right through the middle. But if we look at our final displacement, that's how we have to measure it. That's going to be A plus B from what we labeled on the page. Now if we look at going 10 meters south and then 20 meters east, well, that's going to give us the same result. We're going to go straight across when we measure, and that's actually B plus A. So what we can deduce from this is that A plus B is the same or equal to B plus A. For our first example, we're going to look at Alice walking in two directions. She's walking east and then she's walking back west. So she starts out walking five kilometers to the east, let's call that vector A. Then she walks seven kilometers back to the west, let's call that vector B. Now, to solve a problem like this to find the final displacement, we have to set our directions, meaning we have to associate positive and negative with a direction. So let's make east positive and west negative. This way, we can make both of our numbers a positive and a negative. They're no longer east and west. Now, when we look at this, we can just make our final displacement equal to a plus b, and then what that's going to be equal to is positive 5 plus negative 7. When we add those together, we get negative 2. We find that negative is in the west direction. So we know that our final displacement is going to be 2 kilometers west. Let's now look at two vectors being added in the same direction. Here we have a tractor pulling a car with another tractor out of a ditch. Now when we're pulling things, we use force and force is measured in newtons. The two vectors are going to be done in the same direction, our first vector being 1850 newtons forward, our second vector being 1400 newtons forward. Both of these vectors need to have a direction associated with them, so we make positive the forward direction and negative the backward direction. Now our final force or our total force we call net force is going to be force 1 plus force 2. That's going to be 1850 newtons plus 1400 newtons. When we add these two together, we get 3250 newtons in total. It's positive, so that's 3250 newtons forward. Let's take this one step further. Let's look at a fishing ship that's traveling 27 kilometers east, and then it's going to travel 36 kilometers to the south, giving us two vectors. We want to find the final displacement of this fishing ship, and that's going to be our final vector. So we need to find the length of the vector as well as the angle to find out the final displacement. To find the length, we'll use Pythagorean theorem because it's a right angle triangle. So we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So then we get c squared equals 27 squared plus 36 squared. And when it's all said and done, we're going to find out that c is equal to 45 kilometers, or 45 if we're just using the scalar quantity. Then we're going to use SOHCAHTOA to find our angle because we again have a right angle triangle. Looking at the triangle, we have our opposite and our adjacent, so we can use tan theta equals O over A, and theta equals the tan inverse of O over A. 
We can sub in our values then to find out that theta is actually equal to 53 degrees. Now this allows us to state that our final displacement is going to be 45 kilometers east and then down 53 degrees south. Finally, let's look at an ant walking, and the ant's going to walk in three directions. It's got its starting point, it walks right 65 centimeters, then it walks down 15 centimeters, and then right again 30 centimeters. To find out its final displacement, we need to rearrange these vectors. We need to make a triangle like we had in the previous question. So we're going to move the 30 centimeters up beside the 65, so we have 65 to the right, and then we have another 30 to the right. We're doing this tip to tail, and then we go down our 15 centimeters. Now our final displacement is the same as what it was before, but it's easier to find. We can again use Pythagorean theorem to find the length. When we're doing that, we're going to use c squared equals a squared plus b squared, sub in our values, but we have to add our two vectors together. So we get 65 plus 30 squared plus 15 squared, then we square root all those values to find out what C is ending up to be equal to. And we find that it's 96.18 centimeters that the ant has walked. We need to find the angle using Sokotoa again. So we use tan because again, we have our opposite and our adjacent. We sub in our values and we get theta equals the tan inverse of opposite over adjacent, which ends up being nine degrees. We then find our final displacement of the ant to be 96 centimeters forward and 9 degrees down. Tomorrow in class, we will do an example using the cosine law. We will then summarize adding and subtracting vectors. The hit list questions for this note are 5 to 7 in your yellow duotank.